Well, I think that actually uh, nobody prepares to be a good leader. This is, uh, or at least in my case, it was just a natural result of all my career path and something that I had to learn from my everyday experience. Yes. First steps, I think, is to plan well the, the work, the work and the, the research that you are planning to do with your group. Continue basically the work that we started uh, from back in the, in the IRB. So we are studying the trafficking or the machinery that is controlling the vesicle trafficking in a biotic cells. And trafficking is a classic topic in cell biology. We would like to use yeast as a model organism. This provides with unique genetic tools that we combine with advanced light microscopy. So with these tools in the lab, we try to develop new approaches that allows us to characterize the entire complexity of this machinery and then understand how the cell is capable to organize vesicle trafficking in, in yeast, but also in all eukaryotic cells. And in particular, we're very interested in understanding how the cell is controlling the process of exocytosis. Well, I think that I learned almost everything I needed to be uh, now a group leader here at the UPF. Because back at the IRB was when I first started to be an independent researcher as a Ramon Carvalho. And there I had to learn how to direct my group, how to, to generate synergies within the group, how to plan research for the group. And, uh, and these were definitely very important things for, for our work nowadays. But also, uh, I would like also to I think probably one of the things that I, I realized is how important to the mentoring for sciences. And both this I learned from both sides. Me as a mentor of all the students that work in, in my lab, but also those those more senior scientists like Raul Mendez from IRB or Ignacy Fita that you also know from IBMB, that actually were my mentors and people that support my career and, uh, and with whom we, I really, I really appreciate they Definitely, I, I keep a strong and close contact with many people back at the IRB. Uh, for instance, a facility, a microscopy facility, we are still collaborating in one of our projects. We are also uh, in contact with people from uh, Luis Rivers, uh, but also with other groups that uh, actually I didn't meet at the IRB, but I, I met uh, somewhere else, like Nuria Lopez. Well, I think in many ways. IRB is one of the most important research institutions in Barcelona. So definitely keeping in contact and collaborating with scientists at IRB could benefit in many different ways. For instance, all the expertise in microscopy, all the expertise in, in cancer, or, or all the expertise also in structural biology that, that we are also very interested in.